Good morning, fruit lover, own of our honey and tropical fruit fans. Actually, almost the pro we're approaching 100 subscribers. Thanks a lot. And I'm pleased to see that we got people from all over the world looking at these videos. Quite a few people from the Philippines. I got uh, friend Sea Walnut over in Romania. New friends in uh, Tunisia. Madeira, England, Germany, and of course, uh, USA. Appreciate everybody watching. Thought this book here, uh, a book by Charles Boning called Florida's Best Fruiting Plants. This is like my little Bible. I'm surprised it's not worn out. I love this, love this book. Very, very informative, and it's actually pretty good. I would think it'd be pretty useful for people that even don't live in Florida because it um, tells you a lot of information about where the um, where the tr tr where the trees come from originally and what sort of uh, climate they like. So, like, and also tells me fruits I didn't even know existed. Like this here, a mom bin. I never heard of it. Then again, I had heard some people mention hog plum. Um, that gives you some information. It says it's a distant relative of the mango. It tells you about where it comes from. South America. Lots of these fruits come from South America. It tells you about how big the tree grows. It tells you different species, relatives, climate, and winter harvest. And it has that for not most of these fruits, it has the information on two pages, very easy to see. Some of the fruits, obviously the ones he likes a little bit more or that he has, the, maybe there's a lot more varieties, it may go into four pages. But very easy, quick reference here. Um, it looks like the good thing about this one is that it has a lot of, it's very productive and it can take the wind and the drought. But this little uh, map of Florida, you can see that he's saying it only really likes the very, very south of Florida. Now, those of you like the Philippines that are in a very tropical climate probably would grow for you. Those of you that are further north, certainly, well, we're over here. Although saying this, I do know people in Orlando that grow the hog plum. So, you know, but I mean, do we want to push the boundaries too far? I don't know. So what I like about it is they, it tells me, Tells me where I can grow. Look at this, the mango's got four pages of things. So, mango says I'm not, we know this, mango doesn't like the cold. We're right on the boundary there of the mango. So, uh, something else, mame sapote. No point growing that here. Like I you know, the most of this. Look at this, there's a mapo. What is a mapo? I've never heard of it. Velvet apple. Some of these things have so many names. That one looks like we could grow that. It's on the on the border. And then if you looked over here at the climate, it says gets killed when it goes down to 28. So most years probably be okay. Anyway, give this book a go. Not low quite, go through the whole of Florida. Give it a good book a go. Maybe it'll be very good for where you live or to give you some idea of different fruits that are available. Um, just thought I'd share it. It's about, uh, I think, I paid 22 bucks, but I looked online and I think the cheapest I could find now was like 24, 25 bucks. It's just weird that the price would go up. Couldn't find many used ones either. People were probably hanging on to them. Okay, any questions, give me a shout, keep subscribing, keep sharing. Thanks a lot, bye.